Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hello and welcome. So I didn't make a proper intro for this video because we woke up a little late and we were rushing to go eat at this restaurant, the Ruby Slipper Cafe, because it gets really packed as you can see here. So I recommend making a reservation before you go. But I highly recommend this restaurant because their food is a 10 out of 10. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video and make sure to like and subscribe for more content. came it didn't even stop so we realized that we just get there faster by walking this is insane it's so hot then again i feel like they didn't stop because they knew that they were gonna have space so i don't know but we're gonna go to a museum right now the world war ii museum so we're gonna be there Oh my god, it's so freaking hot and we just stay and I wanted to sit down. Okay, so I'll see you guys at the museum.
It's not working. Am I doing it wrong? I thought I was being dumb, but we have to wait for instruction. Whoops. Also, we can't take video of the actual exhibit, so I'll just insert pictures whenever I'm out of here, I guess. Alright, we're going to pick the one for the file to rock the museum. Maybe a nurse or someone to stand. And this is station one of six. Station two is at the top of the stand. All the Indians boat hit a sandbar, and we jumped into the water and immediately went in over our heads. Scotland. We had to be in good shape, so we trained by walking and hiking with all of our gear. After your visit, you can access your World War II story, your dog tag collection, and other related items at home by logging into www.dogtagexperience.org with your email address or the number on the front of your dog tag in front of you to meet the individual you will be following and start your personal journey. I even finished reading my, my person's thing, but I recorded it, so I'll just read it later. because they told us we couldn't videotape exhibits and I just videotaped too but I think it should be fun so I think the rest is exhibits so I'll just show you guys pictures so this museum is located in the central business district of New Orleans it takes roughly two and a half to three hours to finish the full museum it features many exhibits as well as many interactive experiences throughout each exhibit we were not able to see every exhibit because we did buy tickets to see the 4D experience Beyond All Boundaries movie that is narrated by Tom Hanks. I will show you a mini clip at the end. The museum takes you through all the events leading up to D-Day as well as the aftermath of it all. With dog tags that you saw me have at the beginning of our tour, you are given a person and with the interactive experiences, you can learn more about their lives during that time. There are eight exhibits in total. There is Arsenal of Democracy, Road to Tokyo, Road to Berlin, the D-Day Invasion of Normandy, U.S. Merchant Marine Gallery, Bayou to Battlefield, as well as special and travel exhibits. Overall, I really enjoyed this museum, and since we did not get to see every exhibit, I for sure would want to go again. Beyond all boundaries includes loud noises, including gunfire, fog effects, flashing lights, and heavy... And these were some statues that they had outside. This one was of soldiers and this one was of Anne Frank and I thought they were really nice. So this is the iHeart Media building. I really wanted to see it because I am studying communication in college right now and I thought it would be fun to see. iHeart Media is the number one audio company in the US so it was cool to see one of their locations. We also saw the building for their local news, which I thought was pretty cool as well.
the museum and it closed like right after the movie that we saw and now we're gonna go eat it's so loud oh my god we're gonna go eat at a restaurant i'm not sure what it's called to be honest but i'll show you guys right now To be honest, the restaurant we ate at was probably like just regular, like it wasn't super super good. It's probably just what I got. My sister's meal looked so good. She got like fried chicken and it looked really really good. My brother got ribs and they looked really really good. But I got vegetable pasta so maybe that's why I think it was like meh. Either way, I would give it maybe like a 6 out of 10 it wasn't so bad like i said but i do recommend the other restaurant we went to i'll link all the restaurants and all the like tour things that we did in the description box below but for now that is the end of the video for day three in new orleans make sure to like and subscribe if you like my channel and comment down below where you guys have traveled to this summer or where you guys plan to travel to this summer that's it for now. Bye, guys.